What kind of story does Hillary Clinton's team want told about her tenure as Secretary of State? Now, while at the diplomatic post, well, the position took her to 112 different countries. And I think that there are bound to be some fascinating behind the scenes stories there. So it looks like we might actually find out some of them next February when a book by Politico's Jonathan Allen and The Hill's Amy Parnes comes out. And it's titled HRC, State Secrets and the Rebirth of Hillary Clinton. Now, the two reporters got Clinton right-hand man Philip Raines and spokesman Nick Merrill to participate in this book. Quite a different story than what happened with CNN's now-canceled documentary, because in that case, the film's director, Charles Ferguson, Ferguson had lashed out at Clinton's aides for not playing ball. So what do you think? Uh, why would they, first of all, why do you think that Raines and Merrill would, would play ball with with Politico reporters and Hill Reporter and not with a documentary for CNN? Well, I think, you know, they expect to express two reasons. One thing they said that the reporters came to them first and were very open, transparent about what they want to do. The second thing is this is a story that they want to tell. They want to tell the story about Hillary Clinton at the State Department, what she did around the world, because one of the frustrations they have, what they expressed to me was, you have pundits talking about 2016 already, what's Hillary's going to do? and. They're, they're looking back to 2008. What will she do different than 2008? And it's almost like they're omitting this in between four years where she had an incredibly important role um, in the Obama administration being Secretary of State. So they feel like it's an important chapter of her life and they want attention paid to it. So they're willing to play ball if they feel like the reporters are you know, are being straight with them and, yeah. and, and well, they want to tell and, it. And, but I mean, you know, the, the question there always too is because Philip Raines, for example, is somebody that we have seen uh, you know, have quite a contentious relationship with some members of the press. Yeah. And so you have to wonder, too, is, is, is this happening because they feel like these reporters might be more complimentary towards the this, this story the way they want it to be told? Well, I mean, you know, I, I look back at some of the reactions to 2008. A couple biographies came about of Hillary. And these biographies looked at a lot of things they didn't want out there, like Whitewater, Lewinsky, also her um, voting for the Iraq resolution. So there was a lot of battling. And, you know, Philippe Raines, who's quoted in this story, um, in 2007, he dismissed all these other biographies by Carl Bernstein, by a bunch of New York Times reporters. You know, he was asked about him. He said, can you quote me yawning? You know, he's basically dismissing any, any of these books. So it's really a departure from how they handled biographies back then to how they're handling this one. At the same time, you have a Weekly Standard reporter who's doing a, story, a book on Hillary Clinton. Uh, you can expect they're not going to participate with that one because it's probably going to be a negative look at them. So, um, you know, I, I think they're participating because they think they can, they can help tell the best story and get a story out there that they want, they want in the public. And, you know, whether these reporters are sympathetic or not, I think a lot of people will be looking at the book and see, you know, were they only praising Hillary? Do they, you know, look at some of the criticism of her at state? And there is some. Some people say John Kerry already has been a more effective Secretary of State. So I think we'll have to see the book in a couple months and kind of how they, uh, you know, really attack her four years uh, yeah, good in point. this job. I mean,